hope everyone's doing well. And uh, today, I'm actually going to be playing two games. I'm going to be playing two games. I'm going to play a little bit more of Super Mario 3D World. I'm hoping to finish this game, not today, but I'm hoping to finish it soon. So we're going to keep playing it until it is down. Uh, and a little bit later on today, probably around 10 p.m. EST, uh, we will be playing Valheim. So as some of you know, I'm not a very big uh, survival player, so we'll see how that goes. But for right now, why don't we enjoy going through some of the worlds, finishing up World 5, and going through some of the next few worlds before we go to a different game. Let's jump right in. There we go. So I actually made some, some adjustments on the stream this time around because some people weren't being able to watch last time um, because of the of the high bitrate. So I I turned the bitrate down a little bit. Turned it down a little bit. All right, so we're just finishing up World 5 here just because I don't know. I said I was going to get every star. So I am getting every star, and this is, seems to be a bob -omb. Oh, wow, look at... Look at the shininess of those bob -ombs. I... This game is gorgeous. I absolutely love how sh shiny things look in this game. I love the shine that they put on it. A Bowser box. Oh? expect that to work. So they actually have a pretty good range. I'm just gonna... Oh! On impact. On impact. So you gotta... You got quite a few tricks here. I love that. Speaking of bob bombs, I got a little bob bomb over here. bob bombs are so short. I love the bob bomb. Uh, anyway. Hello. Bobo's are the best. I love Bobo. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Got it, got it, got it. Yes! Hello, hello! How are you doing, Akira? Um, you're subbing? Oh, thank you, thank you for the sub. <gasps> Oh, screw this bunny, dude. Screw this bunny! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Akira. And how have you been? How are you doing? I'm gonna bomb this bomb bunny. Oh, oh, oh! It is a fast bunny. And I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh, 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 oh! No! <laughs> Mario, stop running. Oh, oh! I thought it was gonna fall off. It's so difficult! This game, I don't think, has 360 movement. I think it's limited, like, six-way movements. So side, up, diagonal, down. So I don't think it's full 360. Yeah, it's only six, uh, eight angles. That's hard. That's hard to run in a circle. Aw, I'm sorry your head hurts. Is it from work? Was work being, like, super annoying? Or is it just something else? Mario? <laughs> no! 
No! No! No! It's gone! I think that was my only chance! That sucks! Oh! Oh! That hurts. I think I might need to come back to this level just because of that. That hurts. Oh. Uh-oh, I, I might have needed to beat that. Oh, no, it was just pleasant. Yeah, this is- I bet this is the end of the level. Oh, that hurts! So much! Oh, I, I messed that up real bad. <laughs> oh! Uh. I guess we go again! Oh. That's painful. That's painful. Ah, mm, 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 mm. oh, I wanted to switch. By the way, tonight I'm having some ice with a little bit of soda mixed in. <laughs> I love ice. Okay, I'm not even gonna... I'm gonna speed run. No one cares about the bunny. The bunny sucks. The bunny is stupid. Die, bunny. Okay, here we go. If you think about... If you think about it, these levels are pretty short. It's just that, like, if you're going for a completion... Okay. No stupidity is. I'm just gonna take it slow. There's no reason to... Okay, this is where I died. You take it slow. Why am I running? Why am I running? Stop! Stop it! Rods! Why are you running? Why are you running, buddy? Nothing to run about. This is a good night. <sighs> don't, don't you dare fall off. Oh, I saw that little slide. I love how in every Mario game, there is at least um, one of these where you're drawing in like the old Mario. Remember in Galaxy? where it was those flipping pains, or no, the disappearing pains, where after you stepped on the pain, it disappeared. So it started, it was, I think, a 100 purple coin, and you had to get all the coins. Kire says, did have sweet tea and lemonade mix and BB thought he do a little experiment and spill my drink on it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> do you at least have one of the newer phones that are, you know, water resistant? Because thankfully... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of phones nowadays are somewhat water resistant. Not the case in the past. It's really funny, so... <laughs> the house I'm, I'm staying at here, there have... Well, honestly, I don't know if it's multiple phones, but there have been phones that have just fallen in the toilet. <laughs> That's it. And just like, well, they're dead. And like, they're like the older iPhones. Oh man, older iPhones, so expensive. Go up, go up, go up! Oh. That was surprisingly easy. 
And oh, you know, iPhones are so expensive. They're so expensive. And then you just drop it in the toilet and that's it. Like, I'm glad that they finally added that, but it was pretty late. They were one of the last phones to add uh, water resistance. Because, I mean, as everyone knows, Apple doesn't really care. They're like, oh, people are still buying it. But to be the, one of the most expensive and, oh, our favorite pastime. Oh, oh, I think we might get all the fairy ones. Favorite pastime? Tickle the fairy. Goodbye, fairy. Hope you liked your tickling. iPhones are overrated. I, I agree, especially like buying a new one. I'm okay with buying like a few generations old. I think that's completely fine, because I genuinely like, like, iOS and stuff. I like it. But... Buying them new is... Ooh. Tickle all the berries! But yeah, buying, buying them new. Oh, is this going up? We're going to Sky World? <gasps> I feel like we're getting close to the end here. They only put Sky Ro World. Were you there when I was playing Mario 3 and I got to Sky World? In Mario 3, Sky World is mean. <laughs> because... Why are there so many of these fire bros? What's the deal with them? Because you complete that world on land, and then you have to complete the world on the sky. That was ooh, ooh. <laughs> BRB. Mickey. Who in the world is Mickey? Do you have, do you have a new child? <laughs> I did not know about. It's incredible to me that like, at the same time, they're able to keep all the same themes, but still be able to make such a, a fun. An innovative game. I guess it's not innovative in some ways. Like, you're not getting a groundbreaking story or anything like that. But gameplay wise. Oh, oh. I get it. Oh, but I'm, but I'm bad. Okay, 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 okay. This is actually cool. I thought it would I would have to use the fireball. But no, they had a star in there. Okay. Okay. I'm afraid of going in here without sending mm, okay. <laughs> I'm afraid of doing the thing. Does the thing. I was thinking of doing something every time I died. Like, I have a, a pack of... I have a pack of those bamboozled jelly beans. I was like, maybe... Maybe I should eat one. <laughs> every time. Every time I die, as a punishment. Just, just eat one of those jelly beans. But then, I was just like, nah. <laughs> I, I'd rather have a, a little bit more of a pleasant experience. Oof. 
Oh, little birds. Mm. I'm not doing this optimally at all. <laughs> Can I? No, 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 what? It's oh. <laughs> gonna kill me. Uh. That's fear. <laughs> the day that Mario made me feel real fear. That day, I was unable to use one pair of pants while I streamed. <gasps> three years? Do you mean like it's been three years since you... You last... Has it been three years? Like... No. Why can I only have two fireballs? No, they're just gonna keep. No, no, no! months for me. Captain Toad! Um, oh wait, I have All-Star, so I guess he's not... <laughs> hey! Hmm. By the way, another thing too I'm changing is the order of the... I'm changing the order of... Why does it seem like the mic is... Why does it seem like the mic is so much louder now? I'm gonna turn down, turn it down a little bit. Uh, is the order of the emotes on the channel? I know that it seemed like people loved Nope a lot more than O. Oh. Uh, you can also use it to check out. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh. Courseless. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Look at all those. Nice. Stars. And then our stamps. I really love... There's some of them that are just really awesome. Some of the creatures are really cute. Uh... Some of them are kind of weirdly drawn. I know that they're kind of following the Mario 3. Oh, we got a boo house. We got a boo house. I don't like the boo house. Last time we spent half an hour just trying to figure out the boo house situation. Which I didn't like very much. It's been a lot of- <gasps> They're doing pirate ships! Also, I love the boo house music. Am I not- like the boo house. Oh, and also bullies. We haven't seen bullies in a while. It's also a problem to me. Ever since uh, Mario 64, Mario hasn't known how to kick anymore. <laughs> Mario lost the ability to kick. And that was honest. That was honestly the best ability Mario had. Because he would go up to a bully or anything and go, Woohoo! Mario 64, I still love the kit that Mario had in Mario 64. I think it's one of the best uh, ability. <laughs> one of the best abilities that Mario had. And 
And this way, this one isn't even doing it by physics. It's doing it in what direction Mario is facing. So it's even less realistic in that regard. <laughs> I guess I'm nitpicking a Mario game now for its use or lack there of lack of use of physics. Because like it was cool with the bullies originally in 64, because you would actually oh that bit when the music does that when it goes into that crescendo I guess it's what it's called. Uh, oh. See, like that, I, I'm still thinking Mario 64, where I am, I'm trying to pound the corner of them that is opposite, so like, if I'm pounding on this side, it's gonna go, it's like billiards, essentially, right? So, but here, if, if I'm facing that way and I bounce here, it goes that way, and it's like, that's so counterintuitive. That is so counterintuitive. I want to be able to, like use the, my spatial movement or whatever. Does that make any sense? <laughs> yeah, the bullies. I really... I thought it was really smart because I think that, that Mario 64 is one of those games that isn't just creatively good, but it's technically good. So a lot of the things you see them do is... Wasn't just for oh, is there a secret here? Is there a secret here? Wasn't just for fun that they did in that game. They were also tech demonstrating demonstrating the technical ability of of the 64. And that's something that you like they were demonstrating the physics of it. I just gotta be patient. This is the one. Mm hmm. Excellent! Oh, wahoo! Also, Mario has some weird phrasing in this game. When when does he ever say excellent? What Mario is this? Excellent! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Time? I just hit the midpoint. <laughs> ah. Screw your boo. Get out of my face. We running. We running. Okay, I need to beat these bullies? Question mark. I think so. No! He went across the hole. Screw you, bully. There we go. We gotta keep moving. Oh, I linked the song that B brushes teeth to in Discord. Oh, okay. Is it Baby Shark? <laughs> I need to do a YouTube day. I need to do a YouTube day showing off some of my favorite. YouTube videos. <laughs> there are a few that I love, that I'd love to share with everyone. Oh, with Mickey. That makes sense, that's why you were mentioning earlier. Time to gamble! Teach me how to gamble. Cherry? Cherry's after boomerang. Cherry's after boomerang. Cherry's after boomerang. <sighs> As if I needed any more one-ups. The truth is... <laughs> the truth is, I might need one-ups. <laughs> I really might need one-ups. <laughs> when it comes... To the to the end of the game. By the way, is my my thingy working? Ah, blah 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 blah. I guess. <laughs> oh, there's a secret here. No. Secret coins. I really don't need more coins. Oh, interesting. They make it so I can. I 
can go. <laughs> Mario, Mario. <laughs> oh, seventy six. Ah, oh, yes. Are you kidding? This could be. I. I'll read your message in just a second. I just need to... Okay. Is it true what you say, though, about persistence of innovation? But with the same mechanics? Persistence of innovation, and I think it's less thematic. I think it is more... I, I think it is mechanical. Like, they are consistently adding new mechanics to the game. In a way that... So, like, these guys were new. These long... piranha plants. Oh! Okay, I need to go down. <laughs> um <laughs> uh <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah no they are very familiar I think they build on top of each other. It's definitely not a just like, okay, out of left field. Let's throw something in here. Let's put a human in a Mario game. Uh, but then they'll do something like this, like the cat, which will add a, a new di dimension to the game. Where you never really had any power up before that just allowed you to climb. And it's interesting because, are you serious? He, he went around it. Okay. I guess my 77 lives are coming. <laughs> or being... Okay. You know what? <laughs> so they'll use very familiar themes, so like the jungle, like we've seen all the Mario levels that have the the purple group and, and whatnot and uh you know they always have the weird piranha plants they're, they're never like this never ones that you like these are cool because you can step on them and they'll retract which i think is something that we haven't seen before at least not in yeah i, I don't think we had ever seen before we have seen many types of piranha plants, so it makes sense, including in the sense that it makes sense in the Mario world, right? Because, oh no, this is a bad mistake. Because <laughs> these are all f the. I am a disappointment to my family now. These are all familiar, but. And I think at the same time it's very interesting because they don't just build on the history of Mario with it, their mechanics. They actually, it, within one game, are doing that progression as well because you... Not only are you being presented to new mechanics... Just in general, that build on the mechanics you've seen throughout Mario's uh, career or <laughs> series, but you're also seeing them build on these mechanics they introduce within each game. So you're watching them do 
things like, okay, beginning of, of the game, you get a you get a cat suit. Hey, that's fun. Become a cat. Meow meow. And then the next thing, they're like, okay, now you're gonna have to have a cat suit if you wanna reach some of these areas. Now it's actual actually going to be like I don't I need a I'm gonna practice my cat movement. Like if I Oh no, I can't even go up. If I want to do a lot of the things, like climb up, up the move. Oh no, I need to climb that moving platform. If I want to be a real boy like Pinocchio. Oh, no, no, I was tricked. <laughs> Okay, I'm really struggling today. I guess World 6 is the world that turns this game from from a baby's game that everyone was always telling you about into an adult's game. Because, or I'm just being very slow. <laughs> okay, this is gonna shift. Screw you. Get out. Hey! There we go. <laughs> Maybe if I just take it slow. But it's crazy, too, what I was mentioning earlier. How much of a hindrance not giving you full movement. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Not giving you full movement is... It, it actually makes a... insane difference. Okay, I'm actually gonna stay on here. Mario. Clearly, I don't know how to climb anymore. Yeah. I can't climb. Let's see if there's a Oh. Ooh, ooh, these are fun. <laughs> Can I do it? Ah, oh, this wasn't even that challenging. Should I go in? To get all three? Yes. Oh, that was weird. It it pulled it pulled Mario towards it. Okay. <laughs> I got through the level. Now I can actually. Yeah, so it's it's more of a soft innovation, I think, with Mario. I guess it's more iteration at that point. But they will constantly be bringing new ideas in. Whoa, that's a gladiator bully. <laughs> I, 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 is my thing not working? Why is my microphone okay? Give me a moment here. Hello, hello, hello. I'm seeing my mic spike a lot, which it <laughs> I shouldn't be seeing because I, I actually f supposedly fixed it, but I see, like, right there, the, when I said I see, it's going over, oh, is this a little, a little Chinese house? A little cheap cheap sometime? Hands on haul. Let's go! Oh, it's Japanese. Yeah. Well, I guess that makes sense. Time to hold the Goomba. Hey, Goomba. Don't move. Ah, screw you, Goomba. What kind of power up are you going to give me here? Boomerang. This isn't centered properly. Oh, oh, there's a secret. What's the deal with you? Why is there a Goomba hiding here? 
It's nothing but a mushroom. Seems like an odd secret. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it makes me think of, of Spirited Away. Oh, that's a good movie. Spirited Away. What a... Oh, hello. I don't have depth perception. I need to be a Goomba. Oh, they both dropped it. I guess it's very... Oh, boomerang. I can't do it. Because <laughs> I'm a Goomba. Just all be on timers. I, I kind of. Oh, oh! <laughs> what? How do you get that? Oh. Wait, I'm a Goomba. I can't put that on. How do I get rid of Goomba? <laughs> no more. <laughs> Stop being crazy. How do I get rid of this hat? Oh, they don't like it. Uh, I need to have another marathon of... I, uh, I actually watched Spirited Away recently. Do I just put my book booty on fire? Yeah. I actually watched through Spirited Away recently. And, oh, it holds up so well. I forgot that that movie came out in 2001. Are you serious? I completely forgot. Like, for, for some reason... Well, for some reason. That movie just feels timeless to me. I do not really associate it with, like, a year or a time. It, it just... It works for any moment. It's one of those movies. And I'll be honest, I have not watched many Ghibli movies. Uh, I've only seen the more recent stuff. And even then, not all of them. Uh, I don't know why, why I'm so... Like, why I've been trying to butt stop them. It makes it so much harder. I can just hop on them. Uh, but anyway. Oh, I sense a secret. Sense a secret. This is the end of the level? No. Wahooey, no. Maybe. Interesting. So there's a whole other area, but I could have skipped it. <gasps> I'm not here. And I, I love, that's one thing I love too. Not specifically Mario or anything, but just one thing I love is non-linear level design, so like you don't have to do everything for it to for you to get to the end. I think that, that that's the best thing open worlds can do, but like so many of them just don't do it. So many of them treat open so many games in general just treat open worlds as if they're just nor like a linear world. So they'll put you at a start and Show you to the end of something, but it'll get me out of here. 
but they they won't really respect that they made an open world. That's why so many few games and in general game devs I think are getting better. Uh, but I think that a lot of them just like put you in missions that really funnel the world where they could really be using the the full world for their advantage. But yeah, uh, to go back to Studio Ghibli, um, it was not my first time watching it. Um, for the ones who know her, it was Kylie's first time watching it. So I watched it with her for the first time. What's the deal with this guy? Rabito. Uh, Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Interesting. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, so I pushed him into the thing. That's new. Make him into a trash can. All right, all right. Do it again. Interesting. Definitely not what I what I would imagine when I'm <laughs> getting this. Yeah, no, this is really cool. I like it. I really like it. That's that's something I I didn't really expect. Usually it's just oh, bop him on the head. That's what I was trying to do at the beginning. So you see, that's a like. For a Mario game, that's innovative. <laughs> Making you use a, your brain a little bit more than just stomp on that, stomp on that Goomba, stomp on that baddie. It's like, no, push him towards it. Oh wow, open two levels. Where does this take me? Another fairy house, another fairy for us, the tech one. Oh no. That's a flirty fairy. Never flirt with a flirty fairy. That's what I've learned. It always ends bad. Nope, not saying it. This is... We got BBs and we got other things. We. This is for, for when we go into Nick at Night mode. <gasps> Little boot Goomba. Okay, we we need a boot Goomba redemption. Cause Typhoon Furies. We need a, a boot Goomba redemption because. Ooh, ooh, I can feel it. Cat? Okay, it stops them, but it doesn't really... But I wonder if... Okay, yeah, this... This... Oh. Nintendo is very good at what they do, so... This guy, this first guy, clearly we new mechanic, unless you played Odyssey. What do they do? Ah! Ah! Okay. Like, you can... Can I save it? But, like, they give you a lot of space there to do it, so you can figure it out what it does. <laughs> these guys <laughs> I love them <laughs> they're great <laughs> they're so derpy all right all right it's redemp it's boot redemption time boot redemption boot redemption can it go yes no 
Oh, <laughs> my boot redemption. I love that boot so much. I love that boot so much. <laughs> Did he correct your oof with oof? Is there something I need to get down there? Well, I guess I'm about to find out. Get out! Ooh, we're learning so many new things at this. Yeah, so now here they add something that can hurt you if you fall off to them. And then over there, it's a very narrow platform. So now that they've taught you thoroughly how to deal with these guys, they just throw it off. No, Mario! Mario! <laughs> I thought he was gonna slide down. Mario, you're supposed to slide down, buddy. I can't... I can't be blamed if you're... if you're not gonna... Oh, interesting. Hello? Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Look at this little boot Goomba. I want you a boot. Give me your boot. I'm guessing it can go on spikes. Just... Oh. Okay, it's a race, it's a race. Yes! And butt stomped. That would've been fine. I like that they're just going in circles. <laughs> they're having so much fun. Little Goombas just going in circles. Like, yeah. I, I don't even know what a Goomba would sound if it had a voice. What would a Goomba sound like if it had a voice? This is gonna bother me. What? Why have I never thought of this? Goombas don't have voices. How will they be heard? smooth, but I got it. Come here, Goomba. It's such a fun word to say, too. Goomba. What are you? I'm a Goomba. I think the truth is I'm just playing reckless. If I played wreckful, then you'd, you'd have a, a completely different stream on your hands. A stream of a... I thought they were gonna stop blowing there. Keep getting completely sidetracked. I guess it's not a bad thing. But to go back to the <laughs> the Ghibli thing, the only two Ghibli movies I've seen is Howl's Moving Castle 
and Spirited Away. I don't think I've seen any of the other, other ones. Uh, I know that people tell me to watch Princess Mononoke. Uh, what else? <laughs> when you can only name one more movie. And then there's other movies, but I don't remember. Big or small? Big or small? Which one should I go for? Big? Alright. Which ones do I want to keep? I want to keep Tanuki and keep Cat. Tanuki and Cat are the best one. But yeah, so... The <laughs> what? What? Ghibli movies would you recommend? Any... anyone. Let's go! I am open for recommendation. Secret secret. Oh, I can just skip a billion miles up the level. Thing is, I can't because I'm missing on a certain That's the hard thing of trying to be a, a completionist of sorts. You can't skip anything. Oh, I see that, I see that. I don't get it. I still don't get why there are little Luigi's everywhere. Say again? What Ghibli movies? Or is it Ghibli? I don't know. Would you recommend? Mario killed himself. Castle in the Sky. That's my suggestion. Okay. Hmm. I've never heard about it. By the way, tonight's drink is Coke Cherry. This stream is not brought to you by Coke. I've just discovered that I actually really enjoy Coke Cherry. <laughs> and I clearly need the caffeine to keep. Uh oh. Jump on top, jump on top! Okay, so they... You see that Luigi crouching over there? What's the deal with that? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. The weird Luigi just crouching. Luigi is a creep. Let's be honest. Luigi is a creep. He would be the one that's just like, hey, I'm watching that fairy over there. <laughs> My neighbor tot- Oh. Uh, I've definitely heard of that one. Definitely heard of Totoro. Totoro. What's it mean? Really, these names are like play on words or something like that. What do you have for me, Fairy? Wow, this is a big level. Okay, I see one star. See one star and the what's it called? Can I just avoid this? Oh 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 oh! Down 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 down! But it's incredible how timeless those movies are. Like, they truly are fantastic. And I think to me, that's... That's one thing a lot of movies should strive to be like. It shouldn't be, oh, just these hard movies for adults to think and just... And like, I'm nothing against that, but... 
I think the best movies are the ones who can be very deep, but still be made for all ages. I think once you achieve that balance, I think that that is much harder than just going hard on being like, oh, super childish for kids. Or being like, oh, being like, oh yeah, overly aggressive, overly just explosions and whatever. I think that there is a real, real artistic beauty in, in making something like that, because it's hard. <laughs> That's why Pixar movies, really, I admire a lot of Pixar movies. Because I think most of them can and do touch on things that are more than just your... That are more than just... Okay, okay, okay. Disney close a Pixar studio? Which one? What? I didn't know they had more than one. I thought they were just one studio. <laughs> they closed a Pixar studio? Why? How? What do you mean? Why would Disney close a Pixar studio? I feel like Pixar still makes one of the, some of the best movies Disney makes in general. Like, oh, that's creepy. Look at the bottom. No, no. <laughs> when you realize there is an infestation of, oh, it's an auto scroll. I can't even go faster. Dry bones. I haven't seen dry bones. Give me that pal. Oh, oh! <laughs> Coming fast! I don't like that. <laughs> it's kinda creepy. We indeed. This is actually stressing me out. Oh, oh, say like right there, Goomba. <laughs> Thanks, Goomba, buddy. <laughs> I don't like stuff where you're being followed. It always stresses me out. Please don't tell me it's in that box. <laughs> oh, oh! trying to do the, the trick. There we go. Disney close a pic- wait, called Blue Sky Home to Ice Age? Disney owns that? But that wasn't a Pixar studio, that was owned by Fox, I think. Well, I'm, I know that Fox is now owned by Disney. But that's not... I mean, it's sad because there's a lot of talent there. There was a lot of talent there. So, it might just mean that we're not getting any more... Oh, I see. 
They had a lot of good talent in that studio. It's just sad, so we might not be seeing any of those. I mean, they might start making... Oh, no. The fact that they have a ball here. Is this ball theme? Yeah. Mario, you pick up that ball. <laughs> Mario? One Sentry Fox. What's the difference? <laughs> Wait a second. It's different. <laughs> Mario, stop getting hit by it. No. <laughs> oh, it hurts. It physically hurts. Recompose. Okay, that's gonna work. I know, I know that. Well, what's it? What well, part of 20th century is 21st century? I really am not familiar. I, I I think like they're digital, right? No, Mario. Please. Please. You punk. You rascal. You fedora wearing man. That's not a fedora. What do you call Mario's hat? Because I know that... But I know that... So it's... They own all of Fox? Or did they just buy a, a section of Fox? Because I thought 21st Century Fox... Fox was... Um, a division of 20th Century. Or did they just update their name because it's the 21st Century now? Because I thought 21st century was... was, uh... Was... was some sort of subdivision. Either their digital division... Okay. Yeah, no, that, that's what I thought, too. I thought that maybe they just owned the entire thing. Uh... But I... I wasn't... But now I, I'm just curious. I'm gonna I'm gonna look this up. <laughs> what parts of Fox does Disney own? Google being slow. Maybe it's because I'm streaming. 
Okay. Uh, well, that. Uh, nope. Disney owned 21st second. Okay. Disney also now owns Fox Television Network, such as FX, National Geographic. Oh, that's big. Uh, Disney will also get Fox's 30% ownership of Hulu, giving Disney a controlling share of 60%. Oh no, this is bad. Well, I mean, if we're talking about monopolies, the world has gone down the drain at this point. We have many big companies that aren't technically monopolies, but... Uh, Fox Corner sold off, sold off most of its entertainment. It has become a standalone company that will retain ownership of its broadcast networks. Owned and operated networks affiliates, um, Fox News, Fox Business, and Fox Sports. Okay, so that remains standalone. And then the rest. Uh, essentially, all Fox Entertainment is... All Fox Entertainment is Disney now, but Fox News stuff is still independent from Disney. Bowser's bob -omb Brigade. I like I like the little bob -omb thing we've got going on today, especially because of my buddy back there. I love me a good bob -omb. Is there a hole here? Is this? Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna become a cyberpunk world. <gasps> My favorite buddies! I like confusing them. <laughs> they run in random directions. <laughs> Why? Why do you run in random directions, buddies? Uh oh. I did not see that bubble. Okay. Uh, do I need the bob -omb? Yeah, I do need the bob -omb. Please give me a bob -omb. Oh! Uh, what's the point of that? Oh boy. <laughs> Interesting, so all of these mechanics that... I honestly have become familiar with through uh, Odyssey and uh, Mario Maker. We're introduced by we're introduced in this game, which is very very interesting to me. Okay. I feel like some stars are in blue blocks. And that worries me. Give me a bob -omb. Give me a bob -omb. smile whenever I see that app. <laughs> I love it. Okay, give me a bomb. Oh, there's a bomb right there. Okay, so those... once I pick it up.
No, why did I go over? <gasps> I'm just gonna let that guy go. Gotta get back to doing colleague. Maybe you catch you later tonight, all right? Sounds good, yeah, at, at around 10 tonight, so in a couple hours, I'll be switching over to Valheim. I'm really curious to see that, especially because I am not really a... Oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm not really a survival game player. I honestly don't really like survival games, <laughs> which... Uh, oh, I feel like... Are you serious? Okay. At least now I can just focus on beating the level. <laughs> ah, they're adorable. I love them. You know, something, something that I wanted to discuss, too, is the fact that on Twitch, it's like, it's incredibly hard for you to, to be, well, just in general, be a streamer, right? But also, be a variety streamer. And that's something that, you know, I, I never throw out my entire streaming career, I never figured out. I was always a variety streamer. Because to me, like, it's hard to... to play a game... forever. <laughs> you know? Does that make... Look at all these Luigis in the sky. Why are there so many Luigis everywhere? But... I don't know. I wonder... I wonder if there will ever be something that I'll, I wonder. Because... I think it's so amazing. That is one thing I think is so amazing. That people can actually enjoy one game over and over and over. Or one type of game, you know, like... One type of game or just straight up one game. Trance, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna die. Is that dude just gonna stay there? Oh, I have a boss to fight. Am I gonna have to do this again? I'm sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. Well, yeah, no, I just wanted to bring that up, because I wonder, I wonder if I would ever find something like that. That I can just enjoy playing over and over and over. And it's cool, because, like, you see these people become experts at these games. And that's, like, to me, that's a really cool, just, idea of, like, you love something so much that you just become so knowledgeable about it. And I think that's truly incredible, you know, people that can do that. Truly devote years of their life towards something. And even not just with games and stuff, I think that that's just an issue. A personality. Okay, you know what? Two things. This is an auto-scroller. Auto-scrollers suck! Second thing. I'm not really focusing on one. To give me the golden thing again. Not really focusing on what I'm doing. Tell you what. I'm gonna focus. No, I'm not touching that dumb leaf. I don't need it. Just need to focus. Just need to focus. Auto scrollers are the worst. Or am I just making an excuse? Hmm. 
Mario. Why? <laughs> you weird Italian plumber man. <laughs> Sorry, Mario. I didn't, I didn't mean it. Didn't mean to say that. Didn't mean to say that. Yeah, get that double. Ugh! Triple it up. Where is he? Yes. Okay, we're free. We're free to go. I just need to take a bob off. Okay. Five, four, three, two. Let's go. No! No! Okay, I'm just going. I'm just going. I can't believe it. Can't believe I've done this. I did everything perfect and ready to go. Now we talk about innovation. But then they bring back this dude. <laughs> like why? Give me a new mini boss. It's not any harder when you add. It's not any harder when you add a bunch of shells and you still have a stopping time. So. Alright. Glad I was able to... That also looks like my aunt. It's so weird to me that these some of these fairies look like my family members. <laughs> what does that say about me? <laughs> we got through a world though. You know, it's not bad. Not bad. But anyway. Interesting, they all have little different animations of thanking you. Or, or like... Th this is the polite fairy. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay to... chill with the polite fairy. Again. Not the... This tune is so good. The Bowser tune in this game is good. Motley Boss Blob's Big Battle. Motley Boss Blob? You know, if you're gonna throw a bunch of words- <gasps> Why are you giving me- Why are you giving me double cherry? <laughs> it's always- it always worries me a little bit. When they give me double cherry for, for something. And it's a boss? I don't like you already. Oh, that looks like liquid mercury. Oh. I, I don't like this. I'll be completely honest. What in the world? Okay. Okay. Oh, this <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> I don't know why it's throwing me off. It's me! It's not hard, either. Like, I, I believe I'm just gonna have to hit him one more time. And that's it. That's the boss. So, like, it's not... It's kind of... I don't know why. I don't know why it's throwing me off. 
Imagine if just like most of the other power-ups you could take double cherry with you to the next levels. Imagine like you in the overworld, just a bunch of yous running around. Also, I know I've mentioned this before, I just love Mario sprint animation in this game. I was a really dorky kid. <laughs> Because I grew up with Mario World, the original, where he also runs like that. As a kid, I would try to emulate him. <laughs> I'd run with my little hands on the side. <laughs> you know, some things... Some things you're embarrassed of admitting. I don't even know why. Whoa! World 7? Since oh, this is World Castle, <laughs> since when is World 7? Oh, it does a thing like Mario World does too. It kind of circles around and then brings you to the middle. That's cool. But since when does. What? This is a 7th world. What kind of Mario game is this? They're breaking all the norms. Doing all their. Let's go! Blue fire. That's cool. That looks pretty cool. That looks really sweet. I don't think we've ever seen blue fire fire in Mario. Not like this, at least. Like I'm sure. I'm sure we've seen. Blue fire. But this looks cool. One thing, too, that growing up I used to love was also, like, blue fire stuff. And was it because of a game? Of course! <laughs> uh, growing up, one of the, the games I would play on the Super Nintendo was Killer Instinct. And I was like, you know, you could say, like, oh, why are you playing Killer Instinct as a child? Yeah, great fighting game. I, I ended up buying the new one, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not really a, a big fighting game guy, so... But, you know, I bought it more for the nostalgia than anything else. But, uh... I loved playing as the fire character, which was called Cinder, and the... Okay. The, uh... Alternate color was blue, which I preferred over the orange that he was. My computer died, and I'm trying to put. Oh, baby doesn't want to go to sleep. That's baby's 90% of the time. They never want to go to sleep. <laughs> I feel your pain. Not directly, though. I'm sorry you have to deal with that. Oh! Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's a mistake. I didn't want to go in. I wanted to shoot fire. Oh no, I'm gonna wreak havoc on these guys. They're just minding their own business. They're doing their little... their little thing, and here I am. I... Yeah, I made this super easy for myself. I knew that it would probably have to do something like this. BB, stop giving your mom a hard time. Don't do that. Be cool. Be cool. Well, you can't watch the stream anymore. What in the world? <laughs> what is this guy doing? Get out. I I'm out of here. <gasps> Can I not? He's just gonna jump. I don't have anything. Get him when he comes over this side. Oh, oh depth of field. Why do you believe me? 
Is that it? Oh, interesting. Aw, BB, you gotta listen. If you don't listen, what are we gonna do? I am honestly still very thrown off. Like the fact that this is technically World 7, but it's the Bowser world. Let's go! Oh, good. I'm glad. Oh, this is weird. Okay. Oh, this is a nice concept. This is cool. I like this. I I watched the the video where Miyamoto is takes you through the uh, the park. Okay, those were floors. I was like, I don't know if that's floor, if that's a hole. And there's a section like this, which is very interesting. That you, it's kind of like a bob. I think it was called like a bob -omb cave or something, where you take, where you go through and it's like all dark and stuff, and like you have fire f balls and stuff like that. That was really cool. It really feels like the Mario Park seems more of like a park for children. It's not. It doesn't seem like. Oh oh oh. It doesn't seem to have, like, that kind of broad appeal that their games seem to have. But that's the thing, I'm not a big park person. I'm not very familiar with what, how parks are usually designed. If they are, there are things more for adults, not as in, like, again, kind of the similar thing to the picture thing. Things that are both interesting to both adults and kids, or if they are truly more geared towards just the kids. But I, I would be... I can actually go back. Now that I think about it. Instead of having to replay the level. I can just go back. Try to find the secret. There we go. Um... And honestly, I've always wanted to visit like a theme park like that. I never have. I've never really been to a theme park. But I think I think it could be cool. I think that there's a lot that parks can offer, and it's a lot that I'm not very familiar with. Because I think that there are things that, like, certain forms of entertainment can only give you. And I think parks are one of those because of how tangible they can make things. It's one of those that can truly be, like, a very... A very engaging experience. So I guess it's more like when you do it more of an experience like that, I don't know how much depth you need. Again, because I... I... I haven't had much experience with parks and stuff like that. But I wonder if I would find it super engaging to go to, like, something that seemed more childish and simple, like what the Super Nintendo world seems to be in Japan. Or if I would be like, oh, this is kind of boring. It's like a completely new world for me, which is honestly kind of exciting. Where I I know nothing about theme parks. <laughs> it's like, oh, how how much of that like tailored experience of you being there is? I think I might keep these two. 
Yeah. I don't know if any of what I said make, makes any sense, but... I think that that's something that would be interesting to try out for sure, if anything. Red Hot Run? Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got here. At least we got the two stars. I can focus more on just being fast. Sip that. Sip that. Sip that caffeine juice. Also, there's something just inherent to the design of this Mario when he runs, that like when he explodes, when he reaches top speed, it's so satisfying. It is so satisfying. Oh, I should have... I got all three. That's all I need. That's all I need, I can take the other path now. That's one thing that I think, if you were to make this game a little bit harder, because they already say that, like, if you're a more practiced player, you're supposed to be getting the... the, uh... the stars. That's kind of like the added challenge for if you're a more practiced player. I really think they should not make it so that they stay if you die. Like, the ones after a checkpoint or something. Like, I do think that they should keep it more annoying. And this- oh, I could just jump there. I don't know why I don't. Ooh, this is... Oh no. That doesn't feel good. Um... And you have to do the hard path if you're gonna keep them. Because I think it, it makes it a little bit too easy if you're just gonna cheat it just like I did there. Like, that's totally cheating, at least to me. Because, like, I got it, but I don't need to do the hard thing. I can, I can throw myself at a wall here and not have to... She totally is the polite fairy! Yes! <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting so excited about figuring out the personality of the fairies. But that's that would be a small and that's the thing with a lot of Mario games, you're essentially nitpicking a lot of the problems. Isn't it? Not really like a big problem. <laughs> really. Like this bully problem. Are you serious? Screw you. <laughs> As if. I don't think I've ever seen this either. I mean, it's a pretty simple concept. It's like, oh, blocks. That. Uh, you know, rotate. But... I don't think I've ever seen that in a Mario game. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, and also, there's something. There is something about the Mario voice lines. Okay, I see one star. Close to you. There's something about Mario voice lines that they make you want to say them. 
Have you ever realized that? How Mario voice lines make you want to say them? Does that happen to anyone else? Because it really happens to me. <laughs> There's some voice lines, not all of them. I'll, I'll be completely fair. It's not all of them. But there's some voice line. I'm just like, excellent! Wahoo! But still, and I know I've mentioned this, I think, oh, a million times on stream. But my favorite line is when he lands. What game was it? It's, it's either Galaxy or, or Sunshine. But whenever he lands from a tall... I, I don't know why I'm stopping. Uh, <laughs> I get really excited about saying this because I love it so much. Um, whenever he lands or something, and I think it's is um, what's it called? It's Galaxy because he does a lot of landing in Galaxy. Um, he goes, yeah, and it's so satisfying. I'm just like, yes, Mario. Yeah, you land. You land like that. Because he is so satisfied with himself. And I'm just like, oh, that is the... You, you can feel his satisfaction. <laughs> it really just gets me. <laughs> no, there's a tiny one! Sometimes I just randomly do Mario. Yeah, me too. There's some voices that are just like that, you know. I'm sure. I'm sure you have that as, as well. I'm sure everyone has like certain voices that they they just like feel, you know. And Mario definitely has so many good voice lines because they're so easy to say, and there's like, it's it's all about the way he says it. So I think that's why they they actually represented emotion so. Is because it's on the way he's saying it. Okay, can I do it? And it's so fun. Yes! Yes, it is so fun to- You're just like, Wahoo! Hey! It's because he's so happy. He just want to do it. It's just like, hey! <laughs> when you analyze Mario Boy's line. Oh, we got another rock buddy boss. Oh, two bosses. Another fire bro hideout? That's crazy. What are these fire bros doing? <laughs> Why do they have all. Oh, oh, that's a lot of fire bro. That's a lot of where you jump. Don't jump! Ugh. Screw you, Firebro! I just realized what it is. Oh, even you get mad at him. He's so happy and you're just like, Oh, you silly Mario, can't stay mad at him. I know. Like, oh, Mario, why are you doing it? Oh, Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> you're sad, but you're like, Yahoo! <laughs> sad Mario is still happy. <laughs> That's kind of depressing. I'm uh, always happy. No one can know my pain. Yahoo! Alright. They're recycling bosses! Except it's harder because it has... <laughs> hey, Kylie, welcome. Come on. Come on. I really don't like those smiling fireballs. They're kind of weird. What do I do now? Give me more of your children to throw at you. 
Ooh, <laughs> that was close. A little bit too close. That was almost a... All right. Jail sand. I'm gonna do the other boss battle. See what this. I wonder if this is gonna be a repeat of Prince Bully is back. Yeah. Oh, he he's got blue fire now. They come out random ones. It's not consistent with the way the the pipes work. Also, I, I just realized I can just step on him. I don't need to... It really feels like they dumbed down the, the mechanics for taking care of the bullies. Oh wow, I'm actually gonna do... <laughs> don't, don't judge me. I'm actually gonna do a soda per game. Gonna have just enough. Don't judge. Judging is evil. Judgment is bad. Why is this at an angle? I don't like it. They just kind of introduced dry bones in this game. Dry bones just kind of like popped up out of nowhere. We hadn't been really seeing any dry bones. Wow. Also. Also. <laughs> Being a cat must be terrible on his back. Imagine sitting like this. Ooh. I'm already an old man with my back pains. Oh, I see you. I see you. I totally just skipped like three fourths of the level. The thing is, I can't do that because... Unless this is the second star. If this is the second star, I'm completely fine. Alright! All right. The music is a is a nice jam. Also, also, I guess I should mention this too. If you have better Twitch TV, BTTV installed on your browser, I have some nice emotes from BTTV added to the channel ones that you might enjoy music to. Ooh, that was a little bit too close. Oh. I need the power of cat to open this. This might have been... That's, that's me. That might have been... The third star. I don't know what to do. Oh, I have to go all the way back. No, 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 no! No! Oh. I might have to be a cat anyway. It might not be worth it. Unless I'm a Spit Mario. Do they give me cat? No, they don't give me cat. And we just have to reset. We just have to redo this level. the items, but 
if I'm gonna need Cat to get the last star, I could I just gotta go through it. This is a completionist run. This. This. Okay, I can't lose my cat ability here. Ooh! Two and one. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. Alright. This time we're ready. We're gonna rock this. We're speeding through this. Speedrunner mode. Okay. I'm gonna kill this Joey. This Jelly Joey. Uh, that's a good name for him. I know it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna speedrun this down, because I don't want those that weird goop getting me now. We go, we go, we go. That would be fun though. I, I am really I really wanna I wanna try a speedrun. I wanna try a speedrun. I think it would be really fun. But I think for a speedrun, especially if you're thinking maybe not professional. Not professional speedrunning, but if you're considering actually speedrunning a game, you have to be like decently good at it. So you'll play it many, many, many times. And if Again, this is what I was talking before. I have a hard time playing just one game or playing one genre like some people do, which I think is incredible that they do that. But I... It would have to be a game that I really like, otherwise I'll hate it by the end of it. <laughs> by the time I'm actually speedrunning it. It's a very tiring job, but very rewarding. Yeah, it is. when I see the bell. There we go. I don't think of that that was the first time. <laughs> that was the first time doing that. That feels satisfying. That's pretty that's pretty sat satisfying. Let's get on this pipe. <gasps> Captain Toad. Hello. Oh, all the Are those from a channel or is that like just BTTV or something? All the Pokemon emotes. And that's okay. That's a question I have. Because I wanted to make Moon Man one of our emotes from a channel, but when you're putting emotes, they specifically say do not use content that is not yours. And then I'm like, then I can't. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to go off. Do we get this star? Oh, I'm gonna have to drop down from the top. Okay. Because I, I I was gonna make Moon, Moon Man one of the channel. And that's another thing, too. I, I'm gonna put a... I know it's like the very... The very cliche streaming thing to do. But I'm gonna put a, a sub goal. Because I know that at 15 subs, we get extra emotes. And I kind of really want to get more emotes on- I don't like that I have one emote on... One emote for- uh oh. If 
for like tier one, one MO for tier two, and one MO for tier three. I I want everyone to be able to have all the emotes. I don't wanna hide an emote away. Behind uh behind a huge paywall. Cause how much is tier three? Tier three is like fifteen bucks, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know there are, but I... I, um, like, channel-specific, um, emotes that I can use, but I, I don't know if I like that, just because... Do you have to be subscribed or something for that? Because otherwise, what's the... The difference, because I have the BTTV channel emotes that I, I picked uh, for the channel, but who is Alabans? I miss the frogs. <gasps> Get out of here, blooper! <laughs> I'm messing up. I'm messing up. Being a cat underwater makes total sense, I tell you. Oh! <laughs> I was got hit by that. I always try to go to those places because I think it's... It's, uh... Aww. I love you guys. You're all so sweet. Mushroom? Who wants a mushroom? Get out of here. This water world is there. I know they make. You know what game I should play? But it's so expensive. Ah, a game that is gorgeous and is a 2D um, platformer like Mario. What are you doing? Are you sleeping, sir? Is Donkey Kong Country re returns tropical freeze? That game is gorgeous. I absolutely. What is happening here? Did I? Am I in the middle of something? When you save up, let Rods here help you create one. He's good at that. Well, yeah, I know. Plan on asking for his help on everything, especially my own build. Oh, I love making computer builds. Why am I killing these cute creatures? Well, I guess they're angry at me. What happens if I... It doesn't work like a job. No, yeah, and it would be my pleasure to help. Honestly, like, I'd love to help. Oh, you know what? I think maybe killing all of them is what gives me the star. See, Nintendo wants me to murder these cute tadpoles. I'm here, angry tadpole. And also... Oh. Oh, oh no, 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 no. 
No, they're gonna disappear. Okay, we got a little bit of that. And cuteness must die. Only cute one shall be to- No! No toads! None of that, none of that toad stuff here. This is not a toad household. <laughs> no. Toads ruin my vocal cords. I cried once because of toad. Toad gives me pain. No! Mario, why do you go in? <laughs> Mario, I was throwing fireballs at it for a reason. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Mario. Buddy. Run out of time, run out of time. Gotta get this mushroom, run out of time. Screw you, blooper! No! Okay, I gotta go. This is bad. This is bad. I have no tools. I was gonna, I was gonna do a happy thumbs up. Mario, why aren't you going forward? Okay. That's the one thing I, I don't like, depth. And... Ooh. Make it, make it, make it! Come on. Why do they have to add challenge to the last screen? of the level. I just... I... No! <laughs> Everyone <laughs> saw that. <laughs> no, I'm back at the dash hall. <sighs> oh, F indeed. do the thing anymore. Okay. Oh, wow, yeah, they don't give you fire flower here. The fact that I had fire flower was lucky that it worked out for. Are you sp Okay. Okay, we, we're happy here. We're happy Mario people. Wahoo! Wahoo! Okay. Screw you, blooper. Okay, we have a lot of time. We have a lot of time now. So I can actually explore maybe these boxes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I needed that. It's hard to swim. Yeah, the game's swimming. You know... What I was talking about earlier, too, with uh, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong in general, too, has some of the most beautiful underwater themes. There's an orchestrated version of the original Donkey Kong Country's water theme, and oh. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I'll, I might play it uh, in between... Um, when I switch games. Oh, it's time to switch games! Just gonna finish this level up. So I guess we'll... We'll finish up the game, because we're pretty close. This is Castle World already. Uh, we'll finish this up next time. And for now, we will go to a different game. And yeah, I'm gonna take a quick break. Uh, probably gonna be like, at most, a five minute break. So, use the bathroom, do whatever you need, and I'll be back in about five minutes.